Hi everyone. Hi. So today we are doing a two week follow up on the manicure and the gel that I did two weeks ago. And so two weeks ago we did light elegance, very, very, very simple overlay. And um, I will actually add the full video after this video or after this beginning. And I will show you the exact manicure. I will actually go over some electric file techniques and the application of the light elegance. And I did only two coats of light elegance, one step, and this is it. And this is actually kind of shocking because nothing sticks to these nails, right? Like especially in a rigid product, it doesn't really stick. Acrylic doesn't stick, which is funny because you have very strong nails actually. And you would think rigid product will stick very well to rigid to hard nails, but that's not the case. Uh, very well, flexible product stays better. So, um, and actually we didn't even put any structure, just I brushed on, you'll see later, I brushed on two coats and that was it. And I wiped it, no gloss, no shaping, nothing. So uh -huh. there you go. And feedback about these nails, how do they feel? Good. Yeah, natural, eh? Nothing they didn't feel ordinary. thick, they didn't feel heavy, they didn't feel weird. Everything yeah. was really good. There was no lifting issues, no problems whatsoever. I'm really happy yeah, with it. Yeah, this is super impressive. So um, there is only two little areas that are a little bit peeling, but these nails, um, it's not surprising, right? There to is me, one... that would be more mechanical than anything yeah, yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because I was probably picking at something or doing something with my hands like exactly. I normally would. Yeah, so this one looks like it's kind of worn off almost a little bit. Mm -hmm. And there was a little chip in this nail and yeah. slight, but you know what, again, is impressive that it didn't start, like, it didn't peel off the whole thing. Right? right? So, anyway, so... Um, if you are interested in how we did the how we did these nails, how we did these nails, um, please watch the video that I'm going to post after. We will post it in the the link below. No, actually, we will post it right after this video. So just oh, keep we'll, watching. We'll post Don't it right stop after. watching. All right. Well, I stand corrected. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. They're in bad shape. You're gonna have to explain what happened. What's going on, YouTube? Hello, everyone. So Ron has some explaining to do. So yeah, it's been a while, and life got in the way. And we didn't quite get around to our, our black and neon green and neon pink nail videos, which will be coming soon-ish. Um, and during that time, my little hiatus, I kind of relapsed. And if you take a look at my wonderful nails, they are nubbins they're gone they are a shadow of their former <laughs> selves they look absolutely awful and yeah. i am ashamed and look how the, how the skin like the skin was so nicely trained eh? and, and like know. in a month it kind of uh, i destroyed them i think the chewing kind of uh slightly uh destroyed them destroyed i them. destroyed it all mm -hmm. all that hard work and back to square one again well this is perfect actually because we will have a chance to kind of go through the whole process again again and have it this time on film because i didn't have the whole process actually documented before hooray so we will have it now so as you can see the okay so this video actually well hello <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be about guys' manicure. So what we're gonna do, we are going to do a natural nail manicure and I will show you how I use the electric file and what speed I'm using the e-file on, what tools I'm using. And um, I will also probably use the, we will be testing Light Elegance One Step Gel as a quick overlay mm -hmm. and just to see how it lasts and how it wears. So, okay, let's, and, um, how am I gonna approach it? I'm gonna approach this very gently because I know a lot of people would that are crazy about the manicures, like they're crazy about the quick uh, results, would really lift this skin and then cut it, but I'm not going to do that because I'm, I'm just going to nudge it gently. And, and you will see in a couple of weeks, it's going to look better and a month later it's going to look much, much better. This, the skin is going to be uh, trained a little bit that way mm -hmm. by just pushing it gently and it, it will actually help mm -hmm. all right let me just actually grab another, another tool 
So first I am going to turn my filter on so I'm not breathing in the dust. And I'm just going to shape the free edge a little bit. And this is a metal file by Erica. It's called Lady Diamond Lady or Lady Diamond. Lady Diamond. And this Amazing, is a medium. Yeah, and they actually last for a very long time. Yes. So. Yeah, we've been using those for the better part of 10 years, I want to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they've been fantastic. Uh, some of them have lasted. Because I have many of them. Yeah, yeah quite so, a lot. So, I mean, some of them have lasted years at this point. Yeah, probably. Although, no, maybe not as good as what they were when they were brand new, but Which is they, fine, actually, because yeah. at first I find the medium one is a little bit too sharp. Yeah. Um, but the fine one is really fine. I should actually show you in a minute how fine the fine is. And it's a little bit too fine. <laughs> <laughs> how fine so the fine is, and it's a little too fine. Well, no, it actually gives me, you know how it gives me the heebie-jeebies? The heebie-jeebies? Yes. Why? It's like, I don't know, it's like nails on the chalkboard. That sound. Oh. I can't work with that. I have one and I just don't like it. So there's not much to file, but I just want to make sure that there is no catches. Yeah, you're not going to want to try and push it today as far as shaping is concerned because it's... Uh, there's not much to shape there. Well, there, it's pretty low in some spots. I, I took it down perhaps a little too far. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Do you do it in like one sitting or just like one nail at a time? Uh, I don't even realize that I mm. do it nine times out of ten just because I've done it for 30 years. So you're natural at that? Yes, yes. It's been you're a part. You're a pro. Of, I'm a pro. Like so you much do so it that I don't thinking. even think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like sometimes. Well, how many times over the years have you caught me? You know, chewing my nails, and it's like I, there's no conscious thought to it at all. It just, I, I do it. Oh, well. yes, it can be perfect, right? So now these tools are actually quite, uh, quite dull. And what I'm doing now is I'm pushing back the proximal nail fold because it's not that the cuticle is overgrown. It's the proximal nail fold that's overgrown. Because as you can see here, this is proximal nail fold, all that skin up to here. This is proximal nail fold that I'm pushing back now. And the cuticle is this part. So I'm not even gonna bother really working with this right now because I'm going to do this very, very gently with electric file. So I'm kind of grabbing this kind of uh, skin I don't kind of start from here I kind of start it where where I can feel that it starts again the proximal nail fold not the cuticle if I'm not making any sense please correct me because in my head I'm making so much sense you're, you're making yeah? sense okay. to me it's interesting how it, the manicures get so much easier. That's why I really um, suggest to my clients to have the manicures done every two weeks because I really find that the clients that come in every month, I have some clients that come just for regular nail manicures every month, they just don't have such good results when it comes to like the skin around their nails because probably they're not really kind of using the oil, the treatment oils or anything like that. So, cause that would help, but they're not. But the clients that come every two weeks or like two and a half for the uh, gel polish, they actually do have very good results. And there is like barely anything to do. I actually have one client who comes once a week, a guy for manicures, it's amazing. And there's barely anything to do. He just likes his nails perfect. So why not? And he really does. Yes, he does. So yes, he does. now, this is, I don't know, it's called, uh, Koopa has it, as, and it's called Prepper Bit. This is Erica's, and I think it's called Half Barrel, or Tapered Barrel. And it has 
ascend it's a diamond so it has ascending material over here and it has ascending material over there as well and I wanted to show you I'm gonna try to move the camera how um, how slow I'm using this I'm not sure I'm gonna turn off the filter here to see actually here because I usually go by the sound, sound of the machine how low this is so I'm working with Erica MT20 and this is pretty much on the minimum speed right like this is minimum Actually, it is a minimum. This is how I'm working. This is half a speed. And I actually have seen some educators work on it. I don't think I've ever seen know, you work no. even at half speed with the Eric MT20. No, ever. sometimes with the carbide, but not even, like I work with the carbide at this speed. It's, it's sufficient for me. So I've seen actually educators do work on the natural nail with this speed, and I guess I could do it safely but i'm not sure actually if i could like one slip or client moving their finger and you can go through the nail yeah it's too much so let me just actually uh, move the you know what can you hold this like this so you can actually hear a little bit closer and i'm gonna try to move the camera i don't know if this is gonna work it's for you to see i don't know if this is possible no, I can't see. Oh, can you? Why don't you just move the light? Oh my god, you're such a genius. Genius. You're such a genius. Okay, so now I guess you can see. So this is how I work. Sorry, excuse the mess. This is, in my opinion, too high. I just would not like to work this way. This is three quarters. And I'm actually scared. I think it's gonna blow up when they go all the way up. You think it's gonna blow up? Engage. <laughs> okay, let's just go back to the safe. I've never had the machine. I think the machine is going to blow up. Okay, yeah, let's seriously. move the camera down again. And, <laughs> okay, here we go. Yep. Okay, let's put the filter back on and work. Thank you for the, so, yes. So now I usually kind of move the skin back a little bit. Like this is really sufficient. I don't understand. Sufficient. Why, sufficient. What did I say? Sufficient. Like, sufficient. Suffi sufficient. You said okay, it correctly. Sufficient. It's sufficient. A, I came up with a new word. Oh lord. Yeah. So sufficient. But no, this is sufficient. Yes. So this is all you need. Yes. Yeah. It's enough. <laughs> enough. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. So, move your hand back a little bit. But I mean, on a low setting with the Eric MT20, you apply pressure and it does not bog down. Yeah, it has a, they call it a cruise control, so it's... It, it's the only machine I have seen that you can apply pressure and it does not slow. Mm -hmm. Of course, when I talk pressure, I talk about your pressure, my pressure, not maybe someone else's pressure, I suppose. Yeah. Um, because I'm sure there's those that are a little more heavy-handed, mm -hmm. but hands down, in my opinion, of course, whatever that's worth, best machine, mm -hmm. without a doubt. So let me just explain something here. Um, I'm holding the bit, as you can see, sideways, if you can see this, I hope you can, quite parallel to the nail. So I'm not working with this end, I'm holding it this way to grab the skin from the nail. And as I'm doing this, very, very, I kind of push back the skin now. I'd be afraid of making so really I actually, bad grooves if you were to be trying to use just that. that uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't want to be do, uh, working with it this way. You want to be working with this flat. But oh, So as I'm doing this, I'm actually kind of pushing the skin back a little bit. Because you can kind of do it. You can feel it. So I'm yeah. not going on the skin. But I'm kind of, kind of making the, these kind of movements a little bit, like you can kind of see it probably. Opening the skin here to get the little callus yeah, areas. Skin, yeah. And you know, when people have, when people first come in and they have um, a lot of hardened skin around their nails due to sometimes over cutting or chewing or whatever, or just not kind of taking care of their nails um, I don't spend actually that much extra time because there is really not much more that you can do um, you still have to just wait for the skin to heal 
and kind of soften up um, from the oil. Mm. So I tell clients that it's a, a process sometimes. So, and you know what? I don't think, I don't really have clients uh, having issues with that. So, like people understand that, you know, for example, if your hair is damaged from, you know, over processing or something, I don't think people uh, expect immediate results with something. They understand that sometimes few treatments are needed for the, uh, for the situation to improve, right? Mm -hmm. So if you kind of explain that, you know what, you would suggest bi-weekly manicures, even if they're just plain manicures without any product, you can definitely see improvement with just regular manicures. And as you can see, I'm really helping myself with uh, with how I hold this finger. So um, I push the finger down a little bit when I'm, and actually even lower now when I'm working on this angle. Um, and now the finger is moving up as I'm approaching the corner. And now it's more flat. And now I'm turning the finger a little bit sideways. Am I boring you, mister? No, actually, I'm very relaxed. I'm taking You're it easy. Asleep. I'm a little disappointed in how bad my nails are. In That's fact, okay. I'm, no, I'm actually happy. Well, I'm glad one of us is happy because yeah. I'm kind of embarrassed because all of YouTube right now is seeing how bad my nails are. I'm kind of embarrassed. Hmm. No, but it's okay because it's a good experiment. Yeah. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Yes. Should are I you be embarrassed about how bad my nails are? Are you happy that rails? Rails. Rails? Ron's nails are bad. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your pets. Get them to subscribe Watch too. the videos. Watch the, the pets. videos. Yes, especially the pets. Especially the pets. Because yeah. it matters. Yes. Check out our Patreon. I'm going to be posting more content there. And I'm actually thinking about doing the Watch Me Work videos. And because they're long videos and mm -hmm. I can kind of, I, I'm kind of overthinking many things and I go and I spend a lot of time looking at the analytics and they are telling me that a lot of people kind of um, don't watch the whole thing. So I might put them on Patreon only just not to bore the general public. So we'll see. Let me know what you think. If I should be leaving the watch me work that are like 50 minute long videos and uh, or you guys find those videos helpful because I don't know. To me, I'm kind of like so obsessed that I would love to watch people like in the real time because I like to see in detail how everything is done, but I don't know, no, maybe not everybody is like that. So let me know what kind of videos are the most helpful yeah, for you. Yeah, leave comments down below. Let us know what you think, what you want to see, what type of content you feel would benefit you guys. So that's that. This oh, is done. Oh. It took us uh, 15 oh, minutes. I am ashamed. Yeah, no. 15 minutes. And I usually book for a regular manicure literally 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, and once everything's kind of trained and yeah, it's just and a matter of talked. maintenance, yeah. it's a very quick, simple process. It's a quick 20 bucks. Yeah. I mean, 25. There you go. 25. The price just went up. The price just went up. <laughs> well, you know, we have Sorry. to we have to feed our greyhound. <laughs> yeah. I just realized how much we're spending on food. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. Price yeah, just our went up. greyhound. Uh, she's spoiled. Is yeah. spoiled. And we're gonna buy her um, a stroller as well because yes. she's older now. Yeah. So. so make sure Someone to sign to... up for the Patreon just so we can get her that stroller. stroller. And I'll take a picture for you guys. She is a geriatric, by the way. If 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 you're wondering, it's yeah. not that she. Yes, she gets. She's not lazy. That she also has some uh, some distance walking issues at this point. The poor girl. She's uh, yeah. she's 12. She's gonna be going. She's going on 13. She's so. going on 12. She's 11 and a half. Oh, did I ever just fail on that one? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so this is done. This part is done, and next we will go to. The hard gel video. So we'll do that next. Yes. There's a piece of skin here that's oh. stuck to the nail. 
All right. All right. Okay, video part two. So in a previous video, we, we used these fans for a previous video to do shellac review. So that's why they're so white, because we just soaked out the shellac. And so we kind of did like a video in the middle of this video. Yeah, part. exactly. Yeah, it's just... Uh, it so now I'm going to do Heart of the Gel, One Step Light Elegance. So we are in need of prepping these nails. Prepping. Wow, you need more coffee. Pardon me? You need more coffee. Why do so, I need more coffee? So, you know coffee? what? Okay, so let's talk about this. You know what I do to see if the bit is vibrating? I kind of touch it and you can, you can actually almost see it, that it's vibrating a little bit. And I'm very, very picky because when it vibrates, sometimes the bit is a little bent. So I'm just gonna use the next, the other one, new one, and see how this one fits and kind of run it just to even it out. Because when it, when it, uh, this is perfect, I can just feel it. Because yeah, sometimes you'll even feel it in the handpiece where it gets kind it of kinda, a vibration. Yeah, and, and the client feels it and then you kind of almost have to, um, what do you call it? harder. I don't know. It just feels weird. So this is a fine bit. I don't know. I used to use medium, but I don't think it's necessary. So as the guys from Young Nails were saying, we're tickling the nail. This is all you need. Tickling the nail. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> that's how they go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, Greg does say that. Okay, so now I'm press, put, pressing. I'm uh, what am I doing? Tickling the nail? No, I'm, I'm <laughs> pointing it down to, to see this groove. And now I'm making it more flat. So definitely when you're using a light touch like this, you can prep. Oh, huge shout out to uh, Young Nails and uh, Greg Habib and, who, and their team that they have. They put out some awesome content. Go check them out when yeah. you have the opportunity. There's lots to learn. There's some good laughs to be had, and uh, just that. overall, their their content is uh, phenomenal. Like the editing, everything. Go check them out. Go hit them up on Instagram. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask everyone. You know, because I like the real time kind of videos. Mm -hmm. So um, I know Young Nails does that. They have in real time. Tracy does videos, right? Kind of mm -hmm. in real time. Yeah. I know Jessica from uh, Seattle. Is she does those videos too? The she's the Axons distributor. Oh right. I, yeah, I yeah. was gonna ask if that was the, the exactly. So yeah, she yeah. she does those videos. So my question to you guys is: Do you know any other channels? That do that because I love to watch just like real nails, real salon work, and real nails and in real, then real time, time on real people, on real people with real products, with, yeah, <laughs> on real nails. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments, the comment section below. I have said that a lot today, it seems. Yes, because uh, we, we need like more feedback. feedback. We need more feedback from you guys on what you want to see, on what's kind of happening, what, how can we do better? In, what can we do for you? In constructive way, because, you know, yes. we don't need, like, I hate your hands kind of video, uh, comments. And if that's the case, if you don't like my hands, well, that's very unfortunate for you. In the end, please unfollow. <laughs> Just switch. There's more videos with pretty hands, you know? Yes. We're into, like, uh, real hands. <laughs> real hands. Real people. With real tattoos. <laughs> oh... With real product. Yes. And real discussion. Yeah. This could go on for a while, I think. Anyways. So yeah. So let me know what other channels are good and... What you guys want to see and what's kind of happening out there that uh, you have interest in. And, uh, and you know, we'll see what we can do. So, and always subscribe. hit the like button. Subscribe. Check out our Patreon. Oh my god, I think we've said that in this video already twice. That's okay though. Do it again. Subscribe five times. Subscribe. Okay, we're, okay yeah. guys, we're joking at this point. Like, we're just being stupid. We're just having some fun. We had too much coffee. Way too much coffee. That uh, Allegro coffee from Whole Foods, it'll get you. Mm hmm. It's good. Yes. They're iced coffee. I think I'm freezing wore off. Wore off. 
I just well, had my stuff well, <laughs> right. Well, well, well. Maybe, maybe not. I had some dental work done earlier and my mouth was frozen, so I thought, oh my God, how am I gonna do the video? And that's actually part of my hiatus. Uh, I had dental surgery just last Saturday. Um, and, and he couldn't speak, so. <laughs> yeah, no, it, uh, it was a very interesting experience. Um, actually, both Anna, uh, Anna and I have been back and forth to the dentist. Not that we have bad teeth, just um, we try and schedule our stuff on Saturdays outside of the, uh, the weekday so that we can get... Some... And our amazing dentist just moved in actually into the area. Yes. So she had, well, she has an office in Brampton and then she uh, just opened up a new office here in Oakville. So yep. um, I was so excited because I really trust her. Yes. And her husband is really cool too. Yep. Her too. Yep. So uh, yeah, we're like, Kind of spending every weekend at the dentist now. Yeah, we go hang out done. with our dentist. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the type of people we are. We like to hang out with our dentist. We um, go there, we sit in the chair, we, we watch spend friends, so much and money. spend lots of money. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fantastic. How many of you guys like watching Friends? Oh my god, I Let know. Let us know. Yeah, I'm... we've watched the entire uh, actually Friends in its entirety. I think now we're on our third or fourth run. I think. Yeah, we do it in the winter. Yeah, usually when things kind of slow down, we fire up uh, Friends or How I Met Your Mother. We've done that twice. I don't know if we'll do it a third time, but... Um, no, I think I've done it enough. Yeah, yeah. There's there's only so much Barney Stinson I can handle, and uh, I think I'm kind of barney out. Yeah, I know. At first he was funny, but then it's like, oh my god, he's kind of annoying. Yeah, over time you're just like, okay, I, I please stop. Please stop yourself. Alright, so we're going to wipe these nails. Um, with a cleanser. Yes. And. 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 Um. I have ordered more gels. Yes, we have ordered more gels. There's <laughs> things on the way. Let me tell you, we have more product for more content for more videos. You know, I think um, I don't have shoes because I've been walking in the same pair of sandals, but I have enough enough gels to do like. The whole Oakville. Pretty much. Uh, you know, the, the money invested in gels is phenomenal. I'm pretty sure we could have bought a house. I know. We're practically have... homeless, you know. <laughs> you want to know why? Because all gels. the money spent on gels. And lamps and colors. But anyway, okay, so the gels that are coming are, there's two different things. So we have light elegance gels mm -hmm. coming. And I will be doing um, a full set of like super nice natural looking extensions, super easy stuff. Because you know what? I think people should start with easy stuff. And many times people get caught up with the fancy doing fancy, fancy stuff. stuff, which is great. But if you're advanced, because if you start to do fancy stuff when you're new, you just get frustrated. You're kind of putting the cart before the horse when yeah. you're going with the advanced stuff. It's like learning how to do a Jimi Hendrix solo before learning how to do the rhythm part of it. You need to get the oh, bread and butter first. Like you need yeah. to learn how to do salon style nails first and get good at that. Like, like super easy nails because that yes. will actually gain you confidence. Like basic manicures for instance. Yeah. Get good at that before you start going after 3D nails, you know, these super long extended finger doodles that you see people doing in competition. They're great and all and they're they're fantastic. I've had Catherine Wong do one on 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 me years ago. A nail, a very long nail. It was it was fantastic. She actually copied uh, some of my tattoos. It was super cool, but yeah, let's learn let's... how to do the basic stuff first. Period. We're having some lid malfunction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Oh. You know what, just change your gloves. No, I'm gonna work with the dirty gloves. Well, they're not dirty. They just have okay. coffee all over them. That's okay. I wiped it off yeah. camera. Yeah. There's no proof for that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the bonder, which now I think it's called tack. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Well, you just said a Polish word. That's oh, all. wow. That's why I... Ah. I'm like, why is this funny? Because just kind of the way you said it, and then oh, it was okay, just like, okay, yeah, okay yeah. tack, you know, Polish word, get it. Uh -huh. You guys may not understand the, the, the joke. No. But that's okay. But that's okay. Let us know if you do. 
Yeah, I'm kind of curious if we're having it. Polish viewers. Polish viewers. Polish. Not Polish viewers. <laughs> you know, there are certain things I cannot pronounce in English like properly. Color? Like, like color? No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Color and color. <laughs> like as in like a dog collar? And yeah. then there's color. Color, collar, color, collar. That's all right. You know, there's certain Polish words and, di and probably, I guess, like, dialects yeah. that I... There was no... Yeah, well, there was probably many things you can't pronounce. Are you saying that I can't pronounce stuff okay, in Polish? Yeah. Of course I can't. I'm offended. Okay, so this is like a bonding gel. And I think it has... This one has some acetone, so it's something that you would use. Let me just see if that's what it is. Um, for acrylic, if you had acrylic on the nails and you're switching client from acrylic to gel, you would put this first, because this really sticks well to liquid and powder. System. I kind of like the consistency of this. Okay, so, what else did I say? That we have light elegance gels. Yes. And we also have uh, coming balance gels. I think either balance. Okay, this goes into this hand. Uh, we also have uh, sorry NSI gels. NSI coming. Is that who makes balance gels? Yeah. Is it NSI. Okay. Yeah. So we have one step light elegance. So we will be making videos about that. More videos for you guys. Hooray. Oh, I want to show you something. So if you have a new brush and the brush is stiff, so this one is actually pretty soft because I used it the other day. So you can grab, it's been used, so you can actually wipe it with alcohol first, not acetone but alcohol, because acetone sometimes can melt in the little bristles. You see how stiff this one is? So. You can actually grab a little bit of gel because when the gel, when the brush is so stiff, it kind of um, doesn't work properly. It puts too much pressure on the on the nail or on the gel, so you can't pillow the gel properly. So it needs to be nice and soft. You see. So with this, we are going to. And do just two coats mm -hmm. of uh, gel, just like a quick overlay. Wow. What? No, it just feels like it's been a while since we've done like Some gel. Yeah, like mm -hmm. hard gel in, in like like this. You know, I don't know because I just want to test it if this works. Such a thin kind of uh, layer. Layer to see if I have to build. Or if, actually... or if it will kind of uh, suffice. Mm. I guess I... We will find out, won't we? Mm -hmm. yeah, we will report back in two weeks, a week. Mm -hmm. We'll see what, uh, what happens. Okay, so what else kind of uh, kind of questions that I have from the viewers? So when I'm working, uh, can you see how I'm moving the nail? And the line of light shows me if I have any um, lumpy bumpies. Lumpy bumpies. Okay, so this goes in the lamp for a couple seconds. But also like fluffies and just, just yeah, stuff like true. that. You gotta mm -hmm. always look around and check mm -hmm. kind of every angle just to see how the gel's sitting and uh, if you have any divots or yeah or anything like that. So um, here the brush that I'm using here is uh, Magic number seven and that's a synthetic brush. And also I like... Are we doing uh, two layers or just we one? We will, I don't know. This is number six over pure red sable and that's from uh, can West. Uh, we are going to, oh sorry, 
like I'm breaking uh, Rome's finger here. Yeah, she has this. Like, she loves to grab and twist, and especially that thumb <laughs> in particular. It's like grab and twist. It's I think like, I have a problem with this thumb because none of my clients are complaining. Just you are complaining. Maybe my clients are scared of me. Okay, go somewhere. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> well, not yeah, exactly. now at least. <laughs> <laughs> not on camera. Yeah, not on camera. <laughs> You were scared before when I'm like, okay, we're gonna do a video, and he's like, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see. So the shorter the brush, the more pressure. The brush is usually uh, creating. You know, this thing is actually very good. I don't know, I just have a very good kind of uh, control over this gel, mm. like this brush. It's just kind of weird to see you kind of pressing like that with, with a gel. I know, like, right? Normally you, you kind of float, float the pressure. It. You're not putting as much pressure, but then again, it's it's about creating a thin layer, not... Yeah, so we're going to be doing two thin coats, possibly. extending the nail. And yeah, doing, we're not building here. Yeah, and it's it's not like you have to worry about like uh, like proper apex, I guess. No, no, no. Not, stuff like that, right? So. Not with these stubbies. <laughs> stubbies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, when I pick up the gel, you know, I've seen people kind of do this. I would be worried about that getting all yeah. over the, the... So I kind of do this twist. Yeah. Um, I do similar thing, I guess, when I'm working with wax. Yeah, we're pretty anal retentive here about uh, oh, the condition yeah. of our, uh, our, our pots and stuff like that. They are ultra clean. Um, and, and basically, you know what? You don't want that getting all over the, the pot and, yeah, and then you're picking then you, it up and then there's mm -hmm. you, you're creating yeah. an environment where allergies could potentially happen because mm -hmm. you might grab it with your bare hand, you know, and suddenly you start running into problems. Yeah. There's no need for that. No. And Can you Which way do you need me to go? Yourself this okay. way? Yeah. And also, it looks really unprofessional as far as I'm concerned when you have messy, you know, gel pots and uh, just gel containers in general mm -hmm. like them to be nice and clean so I'm gonna do this <laughs> this nail kind of goes up a little bit yeah it's a bit of a so strange I'm nail. going to again grab a little bit of alcohol on my brush dab it off here and just kind of Grab this and let's put it into this. Um, just put it into this lamp for a few seconds. We're gonna freeze cure it. Hmm. Okay, so we can actually cure it right in here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we can work on the other hand. Alrighty. Yeah, so this coat is going to be very thin again. So we had a bit of an issue. The, f the phone is being difficult because I'm recording with my phone. And surprise, surprise, we ran out of time. Sorry, space. space. Okay. So. And th this is why you need to you know, be a part of our Patreon so that we can start upgrading our equipment. <laughs> so we can get a new phone. Yeah. You mean the I camera? I put the camera, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm Is putting the money. Oh, yeah. I'm putting all the money right back into the YouTube. Yes. Fund. Yes. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, Let's kind of freeze cure it very quickly. Actually, let's just put that back in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm curing actually this gel in the uh, new CND lamp because apparently you can. Okay, put your hand out. Apparently the light elegance gels they have been tested. I'm waiting for the hundred percent confirmation for that. 
so I will update you. Are you waiting awesome. for? From actually uh, Samantha from um, UK. Mm. The distributor of CND, and she also is a distributor for Light Elegance now. Mm. Yeah, they carry the, the line. Mm. Well, they are Samantha and Samuel. Mm -hmm. Clever. Mm -hmm. Actually, the fluffer's not stuck to your thumb. Mm -hmm. Glove. You know what? That, that was you waving these hands around. No, actually, I think that was a, a bristle from the brush. No, but there was another fluff. Waving my hands around? Mm hmm. I wasn't Earlier. waving my hands around. Yeah, what are you talking I about? I saw. You know what? There is like. You know what I'm seeing? What? The gel kind of shrunk a little bit. So, what we're going to do is. We're going to cut those fingers off. Okay. Well, I didn't. I didn't see that answer coming. Did you guys? I know I didn't. It. I'm gonna free skewer it a little bit. And then chop the fingers off. <laughs> At least so then you, well, that's just not be so so Morbid. disturbing. Morbid. We're yeah, a bad so for the children. I know. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to kind of fill this in first. Okay. Okay. A little bit closer. So I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing here, but I'm kind of putting this gel just on the edge without touching the skin. I'm just freeze curing it for a few seconds. And then we're gonna apply a second coat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When in doubt, it's always better to freeze cure it because uh, that way you will lock the gel into place just mm -hmm. for even like one, two, three seconds. Mm -hmm. okay. This mm, looks like it needs to be kind of finished filed a little bit, but we'll see. Maybe not. I'm gonna wipe this with my finger. Then I'm gonna clean this finger off. Okay, uh, go in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this brush like this. Put it away so it's not in the sunlight. Or anywhere near the light. I'm gonna put the gel away. I'm gonna wipe these nails. And, um, yeah, 
we'll see you guys in two weeks yes i will indeed. post uh the um update yes in two weeks we will let you know how it all works out hopefully it'll last and i don't destroy them and hopefully it's not another six weeks or something ridiculous uh you know before i'm i'm back in a video mm -hmm. with my nails and they're hopefully not going to be back to little stubbies again sometimes what i do is i just kind of uh, run the file along the edges again just to make sure that there is no uh patches because if there is then people have something to pick on and we don't want that to happen I'm gonna finish file this one off camera because we're run, running out of time running out of space on, on, yes, on the that's camera where we are. well all right guys have a wonderful weekend you know good morning good evening and good night wherever you are and you're watching and, uh, we will see you soon. Yes, we will see you soon. Take care and bye Thank for now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.